Most people believe that all market participants have fair access to trading on Canadian capital markets. But the truth is, some high-frequency traders use technology not only to trade efficiently, but also to give themselves an unfair trading advantage over long-term investors. Put more simply, predatory HFTs use their technological speed advantage to game the system and profit by winning the race to trade and avoid trades where it's to their advantage. Here's an example. Say you want to buy a thousand shares in a company. Chances are you'll need to purchase shares from several markets to make up your thousand share order. As you start buying the shares on the venues, HFTs have the technology to see those trades happen and can gauge where you'll be going next to fill your remaining shares. Because of their speed advantage, they have the ability to race ahead of your order on the other markets and buy up those shares before you. Then they sell them back to you almost instantly at an incrementally higher cost. Because of their speed advantage, predatory HFTs win this race every time, making small profits off hundreds of thousands of trades every day. None of this could take place without some help from the stock exchanges themselves. Something as simple as allowing HFTs to locate their servers in the same building as the exchange's servers shortens the distance between computers and allows the HFTs to detect your orders and trade almost instantaneously. To curb predatory trading, NEO developed an innovation we call a speed bump, a randomized delay that erases the HFT's speed advantage. But all speed bumps are not created equally. To be truly effective, speed bumps have to disrupt only the predatory practices of HFTs, while not creating a further disadvantage for long-term or retail investors. Curiously, some trading platforms employ a speed bump that, on certain orders, slows down all market participants except HFTs. This can actually further disadvantage the long-term investor. On the NEO exchange, we use trader IDs to apply the speed bump specifically on orders from high-frequency traders, imposing a randomized delay of between 3 and 9 milliseconds on HFTs looking to take liquidity out of the NEO book. This specific approach was developed to level the playing field by eliminating the speed advantage leveraged by predatory HFTs while allowing HFT strategies that benefit the long-term investor. It's another way NEO helps ensure fairness and liquidity in the market. NEO, Canada's new stock exchange, is here. <laughs>